What's going on guys, it's Crusader here, and I'm bringing you a really helpful video for you guys. Because I'm always getting asked, so what's different around Titanfall 2 this time? What's new? Is it the same as Titanfall 1? Is it just DLC worthy content or anything of the sort like that? Um, but also right before I go into this video, I want to say forgive me for all the background noise. Because uh, we have a new guest streamer here, there. He's, uh, he's arrived and he's being shown around the house. So I'm going to show you guys all everything that's new about Titanfall 2, what's changed and what's different. Or if anything else stay the same so i guess i could start off with the game modes that's very important so we're gonna go into find game right here so we have this new game mode called called bounty hunt and that's uh basically where uh uh Titanfall 2 has had game modes to where it involves you winning to you know either eliminating enemy ai or assisting some type of ai and something that's pretty similar to bounty hunt bounty hunt there is a target on the map whether it be a squadron of AI or a specific Titan or a two Titans, um, whoever the team, whoever the team that claims the bounty first will have will have a a reward, will be rewarded with that bounty, and then they have to go deposit that money into their banks. Um, the purse, I think the score limit is five thousand dollars. You get about like six hundred, maybe seven hundred, and you get points for you get. You can also steal cash from other players if you kill them. You lose about fifty percent of your your savings if you die. So and then there's amped hard point, which was also in the technical test, along with bounty hunt. Amped hard point is basically domination, where you uh you can uh amp your your control points the longer you stay on it and to earn double your score. Last time standing. Pretty much the same. I haven't been haven't gotten around to playing this yet. Um, last time standing, uh, pretty much the same as the first Titanfall. Free for all. I'm not sure if this was in the previous Titanfall, but free for all. Um, every pilot for themselves. Kill them all. I haven't played this yet either. I'm not sure if there's Titans involved, but it does sound cool, and I want to check check it out. Attrition. Pretty much the same. Capture the flag. Self-explanatory. And pilot versus pilot. Probably my favorite game mode. 8v8. 16 player lobby. Uh, it is. A lot of fun and sometimes it's refreshing cannot deal with any titans and then there's coliseum this one's interesting um we have coliseum here it's a one-on-one -on -one game mode to where you're in a cage and it's a best of five game and it requires a coliseum ticket coliseum tickets i'll get into later and how you get those and what they are but coliseum tickets are basically your know, entry fee to the coliseum and uh it's a 1v1 and whoever wins the the series gets a um gets an advocate gift and i also go into what advocate gifts are later on um and then we have these game modes here we have private matches very important 8v8 variety and uh it which includes skirmish or amped hardpoint uh skirmish huh i gotta try that and then there's variety with it just includes bounty hunt attrition last time standing amp hardpoint pilot versus pilot so th those are the game modes guys so pretty much the only thing new right now is is bounty hunt amped hardpoint and i believe free for all and the coliseum now something that i'm gonna be moving on to that's really important is the pilot so to start off we have the tactical ability here and uh, you can see that whichever tactical ability ability you choose your character model is going to change and if you guys know me i am a huge fan of the stim tactical and it apparently makes me look like this robot with uh wieners or legs whatever not sure why that is but some new tactical abilities that it's is in the game this time around is the pulse blade uh a pulse blade it's basically a little throwing knife that you throw at a certain area and it sends out a pulse that uh you know you could see enemies through walls uh you could track their movements and um it lasts for a few seconds also if you get a direct hit with this throwing knife on a player it does kill them uh, Thum, one of our guest streamers, was really good at doing that. Then we have the grappling hook. The grapple hook is exactly what it sounds like. You can yeah. use it to get onto higher places that you can't normally reach by wall running or using your pilot speed. Um, and what's cool about the grappling grappling hook, if you saw it in the trailer, is you can grapple onto other pilots. You can grapple onto Titans to rodeo them. It's it's really fun to grapple pilots, and then what's cool about the grapple hook is that when you grapple onto another pilot, that you'll be pulled towards them. They'll be they'll be stuck in place, but you'll be pulled towards them, and then your your pilot will automatically melee them once you're in range. And then a wall. I have not tried this out myself yet. Uh, a wall. It says a pilot-sized particle shield that amps outgoing shots. 
destroyable only at its protected base i gotta give that a try sometime but this is definitely new i have never i've never seen that in titanfall one and then we have phase shift teleporting into an alternate space for a short time uh i've seen people use this a couple of times in um in a, uh in multiplayer i've been a guy around using it myself i want to maybe i can get some uh cool build going on with it and then there's hollow pilot i believe this was in titanfall one um, hollow pilot where you create a holographic copy of yourself mimicking your actions when activated actually that might be call of duty i'm thinking of but maybe it might have been in titanfall one i'm not entirely sure but yeah depending on which tactical ability you choose your character model will change honestly uh just just looking cool is just the uh the grapple hook tactical i like those little flaps make them look kind of look like the hunter from destiny um then you could also change your Change your character model. You can make it female or male. I don't know why that matters on a little robot thing. But yeah. <laughs> so then we have the weapons. So we have your you have your weapons, you know, the assault rifle, submachine gun, light machine gun, sniper rifle, shotguns. You know, pretty standard in any FPS game. But one thing I do not like around this time is that they added in the Titanfall 2 is the grenadier. It's again a grenadier primaries. So with the Grenadier primaries is that you can have these fucking grenade launchers, micro missiles, and whatnot as a primary, and they are the most obnoxious things to deal with in multiplayer. I don't. This is probably the only thing I do not like about Titanfall 2 is that you can have grenade launcher primaries. Pretty obnoxious, but if it's your thing, go for it. Um, and you know we have the R201, which was in Titanfall, Titanfall 1. We have the G2A5, I believe, was in Titanfall 1. Or I might be thinking of, I might be thinking of another sniper rifle. This is a new one this time around, and the Hemlock was in Titanfall One. Some machine gun, the Car, which is a notorious SMG back in Titanfall One. The Volt. This is a new one. It's an energy, energy-based uh, SMG. It's probably it's an interesting one because it feels like it shoots almost like a, like a assault rifle. Let's see accuracy. It has 90 accuracy, and then let's go take a look at the. Uh, the R201. R201 has 90 accuracy as well. That's 55 damage. Now we're going to go back to 35 damage. Hmm. It's an interesting one. You guys should definitely check out. And then we have the R997, which is weird. It's the last. It is the last SMG that you unlock, but it was the first SMG. One of the first SMGs that you unlocked in Titanfall 1. And I haven't tried it too much. I tried it out in one quick multiplayer game, but this was on console. And I'm currently recording this on PC. So I'm talking from a PC perspective right now, just by natural instinct. Um, I have not tried this out too much, but it felt pretty nice on console, and I can't wait to unlock it. So for uh, for LMGs, I believe the Spitfire was in Titanfall 1, I think. But one thing that's really unfortunate about the Spitfire is that it has definitely been nerfed since the technical test that we played on console. Um, this thing used to destroy. It just seems like the time to kill on this thing is not what it used to be. It takes way too long to kill anybody with the uh, LMG now, this time around. Uh, we have the L-Star, which was in the technical test, and this is a new one. This is a new one with the uh, with Titanfall 2. It's an energy-based LMG, and it's an interesting one because you don't reload it. You just make sure it doesn't overheat. When you press your reload button, whether it be X, square, or the R button on your keyboard, you um you just like you will you you just like make it cool off like there's there's no uh oh there is a mag size I don't I recall there not being a magazine size in the beta I'm not sure maybe there was actually maybe it goes mm, actually I want to test this let's go let's go to private match I actually want to test this I want to make sure of this before. Uh, before I you know, give you guys wrong information. Um, oh, another thing I forgot to mention. What's really cool about Titanfall 2 this time is that you can start a match. Oh, no. You can't start a match by yourself. That's really unfortunate. Um, well, then. Oh, well. But what's cool about Titanfall 2 this time is that you can, you can do private matches or you can do a real match and you can edit your classes in-game. You can change your class. Well, you have your 10 loadouts or whatever amount of loadouts you have unlocked at the time. You can switch to them. But what's cool about it is that you can actually do all these customizations right here in the middle of the game. So 
but your loadouts has like you know a has a you know a pistol secondary oh that's something i should get into soon too a pistol secondary and you have no titan ordinance to deal with all, a whole bunch of titans you can go pause your game click edit and then you can do all these customizations that i'm doing right now mid game make sure i set my classes back up okay um so i'm pretty sure the light machine gun it has a magazine size but you can reload it by just by cooling it off oh and then there's a sniper rifle the kraber which was in definitely in titanfall one you have the longbow definitely in titanfall one and this one is new the double take it's a uh a twin barrel sniper rifle shoots two uh two rounds at a time and uh it's a pretty fun i used it I use it in the technical test. Haven't used it too much in the real game, but definitely gonna try it out soon. Pretty fun sniper rifle. Then we have shotguns. We have the Eva Eva Eight shotgun, which was amazing. And I need to make I need to let you guys know that I think this thing is badass because the recoil from the first game has been drastically reduced, in my opinion, and it's so much more stable to uh, to uh, perfect your shots. And I think it actually has a faster rate of fire in this game, too. And then we have the Mastiff Shotgun, which shot fires about five or six rounds in a, hor hor in a horizontal line. And they just spread the farther they travel. And if all shots land on a, um, land on a person, then it's going to be an insta-kill. It has some crazy range. It hits like a truck. And uh, I do have a gameplay on this channel of using the Mastiff Shotgun. Impressive gameplay. You guys should go check it out. Um, and then we have the Grenadiers, which is pretty self-explanatory. I, I haven't used any of these because I think I hate them. I don't like them. I think you're a bitch if you use them. <laughs> and then we have the Sidewinder. I think the Sidewinder was in Titanfall 1. Rapidly fires micro missiles. And then we have single fire direct energy propelled launcher, the EPG-1. This is like a, an energy based grenade launcher. And if that thing hits you, you're, you're, you're fucked. Adhesive grenade launcher. Adhesive. So a sticky grenade launcher. Cool. Then we have a full round burst grenadier weapon. So there's your primaries. And then you should also note that the uh, the primaries can have two of the uh, mod slots. We have speed reload, extra ammo, gun runner, tactic, tactic kill, and tactic kill pilots. I think this is new. Pilots and kills increase tactical avail availability. I got to try that on a build one day. Okay, faster transition when switching to this weapon. Uh, pretty standard stuff. This one's a pretty nice one. Shoot while sprinting. Uh, I like to have that on on certain builds. Um, and then there's this. This is new. Pro screen. Attachment that displays lifetime kill count for the weapon. And that's after... It says unlocks after regeneration. What gener regeneration is, is that it's basically prestiging your weapon. And that happens after level 20. And then you can... It actually... It doesn't... The counter doesn't start once you unlock the uh, pro screen the counter is continued so it's actually recording all your count it's all your recording all your kills right now because i unlocked the, i unlocked it for my vesper last night oh that, that was on console i'm playing on pc right now it's level 19 so when i unlocked it i already had a, a count of 219 kills with my vesper or something like that if i remember correctly and then you have your secondaries oh yeah there that's new around this time there's no more uh primary secondary and then titan ordinance your secondary is going to be either or a, a sidearm or anti-titan weapon, which is one of these, the charge rifle that's made it back into the game. The MLG mag launcher made it back. This is new, and this is from the first game. It's a thunderbolt. It's basically a ball of energy that just goes in a straight line wherever you shoot it and damages anything in its, in, in its AOE. Um, so yeah, that's new around this time. You have to decide whether you, what do you what you want in your, uh, in your loadouts. Uh, sidearm or anti-titan weapon. Let's go over pistols. This is probably the best pistol in the game. In, in the game, honestly, actually no. There's the uh, the Mozambique. This is basically a shotgun. It fires uh three rounds at a time, and it hits like a truck. It does 57 damage. Wait, that can't be right. It hits way harder than that. Um, a 45 pistol. Um, that's from the first game. The Hammond from the first game as well. And then we have the high powered revolver. I believe that was from the first game as well. But I think this is the only new one. Mozambique. It it, it pretty much fires like a shotgun. Three round burst. Kind of similar to the uh 
uh, not a three round burst, but it fires three rounds at a time. Um, kind of similar to the uh, Mastiff shotgun, fires three three shots. Um, they don't spread the longer they travel, but if all three shots connect, you'll do a great amount of damage. Um, moving on to the customizations. So these are all the customizations you can put on your pilot. So you can uh, customize your pilot. You can customize your primary. You can customize your secondary. You can do this for every single gun. Oh yeah, let's go over the uh, the uh, grenades. We have a frag grenade, standard, art grenade, both from the first game, and then these two are new. The fire star. This is a basically exactly what it looks like in the icon, a shuriken that you throw at people, or you can throw in a general area, or at titans, and it starts to basically blow out firecrackers all over the place. It's a really fun uh, uh, grenade to have. And once again, if it connects directly to a pilot, it will insta-kill them. It, it insta-kills, it doesn't necessarily insta-kill them, it sticks to them, does damage, and then the rest of the fire, uh, dot damage will take care of the rest, so it's pretty much an insta-kill if you're hit by that. And then there's a gravity star. Uh, this one's pretty annoying, I haven't used it myself yet, but I have been caught by it several times. This is a gravity star, wherever you throw it, it's going to be like an AoE, uh, like a little area where you're just pulled into gravity, and then it explodes, sending you flying. And it, that does do damage, and you are, once you're caught in that, you're pretty much exposed. And anybody who threw that is probably hoping that someone got caught in that is going to be looking for a kill. So you're probably gonna die in that room. Whether if you escape out of that, DGC you, man. Electric smoke grenade. I believe this oh, is yeah. new. I don't think this was in the first game. Um, it just carpets area with electric smoke, pretty similar oh. to what the Titans had in the uh, in the first game. Uh, the anti rodeo ordinance. There's a satchel, remote detonation, heavy explosives, which was in the first game as well. Yeah, back to the customizations. You can do this for the first. Do this with. Any weapon. And we have the perks such as the fast regen, the power cell. These are kind of similar to what we had in the first game. Quickly teleport to your Titan. I think that's new. And then there's Ordnance Expert, which is basically faster cooldown on grenades. Oh, yeah, that's something else I should remember. There's no more uh, stock. There's no more like, you know, you're, you have a certain amount of grenades. It's kind of similar to Destiny to where you have to let your grenade recharge to, to allow you to, so the game allows you to use it. And you can have two grenade charges at at a time so i like that i think that's a really nice change i like that about destiny to where you don't have to like search for your grenades all over again you just have to let it recharge this one has this uh perk allows your grenade to have a faster cooldown and we have power cell tackles more tackles more ready available faster cooldown um health regeneration pretty much what i always run quickly teleport to your titan i think that's a new one too I like faster generation because I like moving around the map all the time and I like getting in gunfights as quick as I can, searching for people. Then we have kill report. These are probably the more underwhelming perks right here. We have wall hang. I don't think this is a necessary perk because Titanfall is a very, very, very fast paced game and to be hanging onto a wall to be stationary at a time, unless you're a cloak sniper or something like that, this is a really unnecessary perk in my opinion honest opinion i don't know let me go with, let me know what you guys think about this then we have hover another unnecessary perk i mean it might be useful against ai i guess or sneaking up on people but once again Titanfall is a very fast paced game and you have to uh you have to keep on moving to um you know play to, to play to the best of your ability and oh personally that's how i play then we have low profile no jump jet trails and silent titan rodeo climbing once i unlock this i don't want to spend money on this i have only I only have 263 credits and this is pretty expensive. I don't want to spend money on this. So once I unlock this, I'm definitely going to be using that uh, overkill report. And then we have the execution in the Grand Theft Semi-Auto where you rob people of their of their own pistol and execute them with it. And we have the kidney punches. Oh man, I love that one. And knee plus, flying knee to the face, neck breaker. Alright, so that pretty much covers it for what's new and what's stayed the same from Titanfall one for the pilot. Now on to the Titans. So, what's cool about the Titans this time around is that they're, they're still the, the three chassises. The chassis, uh, whatever it's called. There's still the three chassis. There's Atlas, Strider, and Ogre. 
Ion being an Atlas, Scorch being an Ogre, Northstar being a Strider, Ronin being a Ronin being a Strider, Tone being an Atlas, and Legion being an Ogre. But as you can see, there's six different Titans. Now think of this as Overwatch. Every every hero has their set of abilities, and then they have their ultimate. That's pretty similar to what uh, Titanfall 2 is. Each Titan has their own unique abilities, and then they have their ultimate, which is their core. As you can see, their uh, their this V button right here. Um, Ion has a uh, has a a laser rifle cannon that uh, once ADS it splits into three it splits into three rounds shot at a time and if you're not if you're hip firing then it just shoots one one single round at a time um, and then it has a vortex shield pretty much any Titan could have had that in the first game but this time around this time around only Ion has the vortex shield to where you capture pe capture enemies bullets or grenades or whatever and shoot them fires it back at them only Ion has that ability right now Scorch has a thermite launcher, which is a grenade launcher. Scorch is probably the one of the most interesting titans in the game right now because of how much dot damage he can do. His dot damage is oh my gosh, it is insane. He he has a lot of like he co he covers the the field in like a lot of flames, a lot of fire. And if your if your titan is calling that, it can do some serious damage to you, especially if you're North Star or Ronin. North Star and Ronin are incredibly squishy uh, titans. Just like the uh, Strider Titan back in Titanfall One, Northstar is one of probably one of the most difficult Titans for me to learn right now. I'm not used to Titans being airborne, and that's exactly what Northstar can do. He can um, he can jump into the air and use his uh, his flight core to where he can just rain down hell from from above, like with his missiles. As you can see on top of him right here, he has these two uh, missile reserves. That he he's just waiting to use, <laughs> and then he also has another uh, another ability called a tether trap, which is really annoying. I think, I think that's what that's his best ca defensive capability. Yeah, it does. It says defensive right here. I don't think that's like really suitable defensive capability for for someone as squishy as Northstar, but it does lock an enemy Titan in place and allows you time to get away. And then you do have your hover ability, to which you can probably use to get away as well. And then there's Ronin, the only Titan in the game that uses a sword. Um, I personally believe that this Titan benefits from being up close and using a, using your sword more than anything. It has a shotgun. It has a uh, a shotgun that um, that spreads apart the longer it's traveled. It actually no, it doesn't spread apart the longer it's traveled. It just shoots directly where it's going in a straight line. Um, and then it has an arc wave ability to where uh, it sends out. It sends out a energy wave in a uh, in a vertical line straight up, and it just travels. It just travels and do damage to the uh, titan you're facing. And its Q right here, its defensive capability, is a sword block. What's cool about this is that it doesn't matter where the titan, where the enemies hit you, as long as you have that, as long as you have that up, you're you're um you're being you're defending and deflecting any any damage being shot at you. It, so if you're facing one Titan and you're getting shot in the back, it's going to deflect that damage. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, stop damage 100%. You just take like, like maybe 90% less damage than what you're initially supposed to take. And then its core ability, its ultimate ability is it's a, uh, is it it's it's a uh, sword core where it's where your sword is your primary weapon. You you can't use your shotgun for the duration, and the sword does incredible amount of damage. Um, Legion, the another ogre titan, where it has a a mini gun, a chain gun. Its uh, offensive ability is a power shot, to where a one single shot does an incredible amount of damage. And then it has a a shield, a shield that is on the gun itself. And then a utility mode switch. I'm not sure what that one does. I haven't used I haven't used Legion myself too much, but its ultimate is the smart core, to where it's basically, um, it's basically aim, aimbot, aim hacks, kind of similar to uh, Soldier Seventy Six Ultimate in Overwatch. And uh, oh yeah, I didn't mention Ion's, Ion's Ultimate, which is the Iron Man laser, the laser core, where it shoots a devastating laser at anyone. And it, oh my God, that thing is really awesome. And then there's an ability that allows it to last longer. It's crazy. So. And another thing about the Titans is that they have their own individual special talent. So the Titan Kit you can use to... The Titan Kit is pretty much universal to all Titans. The Assault Chip, the Self, 
the stealth auto eject, the turbo engine overcore, nuclear ejection, and counter ready. The assault ship improves auto titans' um, lethality, their their offensive capabilities. The stealth auto eject, which is pretty much from the first game. Then we have turbo engine, the extra dash, pretty much from the first game. Overcore from the first game starts with 20% core build time. Nuclear ejection from the first game and counter ready. One electric smoke counter measure. Um, that's that's one thing that's different in this game is that the uh, countermeasure is uh, is available to is available to all titans, but it it's uh, it's only available after you've 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 uh, rolled with your titan for a, after a while. But this one allows it to be ready right away, and you have two of them at the same time. So you'll have you have one ready, and then after a while, after riding your type for a while, and you get your your original countermeasure prepared, you can you basically have two uh, electric smoke clouds. Then you have your customizations for your Titan, which is something that they did not have right away for Titanfall One, but they added it later. But this one's pretty badass. Nice. Then you can customize the uh, nose art. Oh, that looks pretty good on Ion with its standard color. Nice. Then you can customize your Titan's gun, which is pretty interesting as well. Oh man, I gotta play with Ion more on PC. And then there's the unique kit for the in every individual Titan. This second perk kit for your Titan is always going to be unique to, you, to the Titan that you're using. So then we have... We have the Entangled Energy, Splitter Rifle cr uh, Critical Hits, Restore Energy, Zero Point Tripwire. Uh, the Tripwire is, trip wire is um, something unique to, to Ion as well. And then Vortex Amplifier, increases Vortex Shield Return Damage Output by 20%, and Grand Canyon lasts, Laser Core lasts longer. This will always be, this section right here will always be unique. It will never be the same. So... Then we have the Titanfall kit, whether you can have a, a dome shield around to protect your Titan, or you will have the warp fall, which pretty much immediately drops your Titan when you call when you call it in. Um, then we have the Scorch kit, uh, increased thermite from TOT 203 thermite launcher, fire blast, firewall lasts longer. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna go through all of this. This video is long enough as it is. You guys can check it out. But once again, that's pretty much what's different about the Titans this time. They have their own unique abilities and they have their own unique perks. So that is pretty much that for the Titans. Oh, and now for the boosts. One thing I need to, once again, I need to mention about this game is that there are no more burn cards. No more burn cards. So this first boost right here is called Amped Weapons, where you can, just like in the first game, here, you can get a burn card to increase the damage of your, well, just improve your weapon overall, whether it be increased fire rate or increased damage or having a laser, uh, an optical on it that you didn't originally put on it. So, but this one is just increased damage for your primary and secondary weapons. So what happens, what boosts, it, it's pretty much earned over time and just like how your times where you play, play the objective, you kill AI, kill players or do damage to Titans. Um, yeah. that's how you earn your Titan, just like in the first game. Um, so. but, and that's pretty much similar to how you earn your, your boost in this game, game, or in this game this time. Um, we have Amped Weapon Ticks, Spider-like Drones that seek out enemies, uh, Turret, which, oh my god, this thing, the turret shreds, it wrecks. Then we have Map Hack, reveal enemies to your entire team. This one I use, I use, uh, myself. And then Battery Backup, give yourself a free battery. What batteries are in this game, uh, this time around in Titanfall 2, there's, Rodeo is different. Um, you can no longer just, just camp a Titan's back to where, you know, you can just shoot your gun into their, into their core and just uh, do, com just, just do a bunch of damage to them. Uh, sorry for stuttering so much there. Um, how it works is that you, you, when you first rodeo a titan, you steal their battery, and if you rodeo them, rodeo them again, the part, the slot where you stole a battery, you stole their battery from, you throw, toss a grenade in there, and do a uh, a bit of damage to them. There's no more just permanent rodeo. There's no more constant rodeo. You cannot just camp a titan's back. You are forced off by stealing their battery or throwing a grenade into their battery slot, and once you once you pick up a battery, you can give a battery back to an, a friendly titan to restore shields and a bit of their energy. Um, radar Jammer, Scrambler, their enemy's radar, Titan Sentry, 
Anti-Titan, Anti-Titan automated turret, one minute lifetime, replaced with amped weapons in pilot versus, not replaced with amped weapons in pilot versus pilot mode. Um, we have Smart Pistol. Thank God this is what it is, because Smart Pistol was pretty obnoxious oh, yeah. in the first game. Box land, it's exactly what the Smart Pistol did the first game, but you only have a total of 24 rounds with the Smart Pistol, and it is a boost. You cannot, it, it's not a permanent weapon. It is not a, uh, a secondary or a primary, thank God. Use phase ship shift to a location visited shortly before activation. This is phase rewind, uh, pretty much to uh, pretty much similar to uh, uh, Tracer's recall ability in Overwatch. Then there's the hardcover reinforced pilot sized particle shield. This is pretty cool for the camper, you little bitches. Pretty cool for the camper. And then hi hollow pilot Nova, create multiple decoys of yourself. Pretty self-explanatory and then there's dice roll and randomly chosen boost is activated on use that's pretty actually pretty cool i gotta try that one and oh, then yeah. what then we have uh actions so hey, some moonshine. sure um then we, we have factions right over here uh, yeah. factions are pretty much the factions in the story and the more you level it up a certain faction the more like cosmetic items you can unlock such as skins for your titan weapon or pilot and banners and patches uh it that's pretty much so far all that's i've learned about the um the uh the factions depending on which one you level up you just get a bunch of cosmetic items uh let's back out of that then we have the call sign your patch so yeah these are the patches I unlo i've unlocked we have some animated call signs right here pretty cool and like i said Depending on which faction you level up, you can see that you get advocate gifts. Advocate gifts are from leveling up your faction. And you can go to your, your inbox and check your red messages and open an advocate gift. As you can see, I've had, I've had, man, I've had these banners unlocked for me. Like I said, depending on which faction you level up, depends on which call signs and banners you unlock. Some of these can only be locked from unlo opening advocate gifts. I don't think you can, uh unlock two of the same advocate gifts um and i think that pretty much covers everything other on top of the, the really interesting story unfortunately short story as well uh campaign mode pretty much covers everything that's new about titanfall 2 and what stayed the same and what's different what's changed it's been a really long video but i hope this clears up some things guys i'm absolutely loving this game this is amazing such a great improvement from titanfall 1 i hope this video Helps you guys understand what's what's different, what's changed, and uh, if you guys think it'll be interesting to try out, we are streaming on Streamer House right now. Definitely go check it out. My name is Crusader. I'll see you guys on stream or in the next video. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching.